Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Oh, right, everybody. Were you expecting that? Well, maybe some of you were. But look, look at this shit. Warriors, baby. That's who we are. Look at this. 2-4, 24. Uh, we didn't get the 2-7, but it's all right. I still, I, still, I still hope that one day I will play in the number 27 somehow. But look, guys, this is my uniform, man. This is me, bruh. I played football now <laughs> for one friendly scrimmage. We've got the mouth guard. The fucking troublesome mouth guard, we've got it. It's there, it's not going anywhere. Uh, we've got the helmet, we've got the pads, we've got the, we've got the shirt, we've got the pants over there, the lowers. I'm not going to put them on. Uh, but today, guys, today, today, <clears throat> today I'm in Melbourne. Today, I'm on a journey. And today, I have a football uniform to put on to watch the top 10 players of 2019. Should we continue? Should we continue, guys? All right, let's do it. Von Miller. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Von Miller, number 10 on the list. Oh, been waiting a month to do this. Okay, let's go, guys. Von Miller. For number one, I might have to go with the big homie Von Miller. Von Miller right there, number one. Okay, so they've got a list of 20 numbers, is it? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. 20 numbers, doesn't matter what team, what position, they have to write down 20 names. Okay, I've got it now. I understand. Bob, one of the goats. Bob Miller right there, number one. I'll probably put Von Miller number one. He's one of them top tier guys. He's just like a guy playing with a gold jacket on already. You know, I call, call Von one of the goats. A legend, a living legend, really. A living legend, guys. Number nine last year. He's lost one place. Hey, look, Miller, we kind of look the same. You've got a helmet on, you've got pads on. I've got a helmet and pads. Why are my pads so fucking huge? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I think they're oversized. Oh well. I'm just so worried about Vaughn and how, where he'll line up. Where is he? He's got no glasses on, I'll say that much. Rivers! But we've got guys like JJ Watt, we've got guys like, well, he's really the only one I can remember at the moment. But anyways, how can Von Miller be better than JJ Watt? That's guys, I don't think anybody's quite in the same step as Von. He's quicker, he must be quicker. He's pretty incredible. He has one of the fastest get outs I've ever seen. I've ever seen. It's fun to, to watch him. Was that 81 meant to be blocking him? He didn't even know what was going on. He has one of the fastest get outs I've ever seen. I've ever, ever seen. It's fun to, to watch him in person do the things he does. Von Miller beats double pin the right tackle. That's a pretty good tackle, too. Let me know when Von comes out of the game, will ya? I see them bend and dip through guys and stuff I've never seen before. Stuff I've seen on tape, but I've never seen it in real life in me. That is not easy to do. See, I would have looked at that before and been like, oh, well, what? He's not even doing anything. At the size that these guys are, with the pressure of that number 71 coming down on him, to stay on his feet like that and get around the corner, not easy, is it? He like, really just did this in front of my eyes. So fast, and he's able to bend in such weird ways where it you know, puts a tackle on the behind. He's probably sacked every quarterback in the league. Um, you know, probably twice. He's so dang good that you have to be aware of where he is at all times. And maybe one and a half, and you try to win that for three or four. Ah. You only have one and a half. You live with one and a half. I'm getting this. I got you. <laughs> you can't wait for me to get that. What? <laughs> Did he 
Did he just get a call from the coach? Dad, because you guys did that, that momentum, <laughs> did that excitement. So I'm glad I was on the team. He just broke the sack right over there. We already got 100 and people on the stage in such a short span. Bob Miller with that sack has become the all-time leading sack artist in Denver Broncos history. Denver Broncos history. I thought they said NFL. Before the Cardinals game, Von Miller called a shot. I'm gonna write down and kick ass. This is the way I'm feeling. <laughs> Don't you love to hear that? He kicked it into high gear and didn't let anything get in his way. Look what he does to Munyer, the right guard. He just completely just lays him out. Good tackle. I was able to come in and, you know, the right tackle really didn't help him out a lot. Because he was supposed to, you know, get a chip on me. See, I'm, I'm imagining this. Okay, he's... he's He's huge in the world of NFL, right? I'm just trying to place him in a rugby team. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm actually trying to imagine him with like an Australian or a New Zealand or a South African accent because that's usually the, the accent that you hear. Or a, you know, English, Welsh, Irish, Scottish, Italian, or Argentinian, or Japanese, or even the States. They're coming up in rugby. But look, where would I place him on a rugby field? We're gonna have to get some stats. Let me see. Von Miller. 6'3", 250 pounds, running a 4.53 40-yard dash. 37 inches vertical, 10 foot 6 inch board jump, 21 reps on the bench. I would love to see this guy's combine tape. I'm not going to lie, that seems just ridiculous. When I was hitting the door, I felt like you know, he was going to be able to keep me out. So I really Still 6 foot 3, that's what I'm thinking. Like. On a rugby field. Depends, man. Depends how fast he is. Depends how explosive he is. Depends if he likes tackling better or he likes you know, uh, running with the ball better. If he likes running with the ball more, I'd say get him out in the back line. If he likes tackling and likes getting into the thick of it, I'd say keep him in the forwards. I braced myself, so I kind of just ran into him with my shoulder. He fell and I fell too. Right when I feel, I was like, now I gotta get back up. I was able to get back up super quick, and I was right there like surprise, surprise, surprise. I was able to tackle him, and the ball came out, and then the other one, he put his arm out, and just dipped his body real quick like he disappeared. Came back up, and got another strip sack. Well, it's a kick, and the ball knocked free. Bob Miller has it. Oh, get it! He does, Miller has it. Now on that one, I could have blocked nice. him. Nice. Touchdown, but that's in the past now, so. He wasn't like mad, mad. But in the meeting, he's like, hey, good block right here, chill up. And so, I mean, he doesn't talk to about it. How about Boldly suggesting that the Broncos would kick the tails of the Cardinals? Miller himself, two sacks tonight. Both have been strict sack fumbles. We might have to start calling them the Prophet. Both sacks, strip sack fumbles. That's got to be a good result. Biggest play in football, sack force fumble. Yeah, that's right, man. Biggest play in football, man. Fuck. Miller deployed the biggest play in football against one of the league's slipperiest quarterbacks. Bang! So who gets that ball? Denver's greatest sack artist finished the game with three sacks and single-handedly snatched away any chance Seattle had at a victory. Three sacks against Russell Wilson. And I think Von Miller has the ball. He does. See, that's one other thing that I'm trying to get through my head is that defenders are coming up to you. They're not necessarily just going for the tackle. You know, some defenders would, would not even try and tackle. They're just going for the ball. And that's something that doesn't happen in rugby because if, you, if, the, if the opposition punches the ball out and it goes forward off of their hand, they lose the ball. The ball always has to travel backwards from the hand. That's one of the, you know, main rules of rugby. So it's just, it's a totally different way of thinking. And also when I'm, when I'm running with the ball, or actually when I'm blocking for someone, I need to get it through my head that you make one block and then you continue traveling down the field. It's not just one block and then start walking. It's like, you gotta continue, you know, playing down the field. You, you might block this guy here, but your running back might, might go this way, that way, this way, and by the time he gets back to the middle of the field, there's another defender coming for him, so you can block him too. 
Something like that? I don't know. So it's going to try to, you know, evade the pocket a little bit. So I went high, chill, went low, and Russ, he turned around and came right to me. Guess who? Vaughn Miller, once again. It's kind of like, you know, corralling a chicken. You don't want to rush it. You want to be patient and just kind of get in the corner. I mean, it's great to be voted on by your peers. 1,200 guys around the league, they vote for you. And to end up in... 1,200 guys vote. The top 100 is great. You know, I think they do that in any other sport. But on the other hand, I feel like it creates this animosity between other players. Yeah. Yes. This guy is 13 and I'm 14. Or this guy's number 3 and I'm number 4. But if you look at our sport, that's what it is. You know, it's this guy versus that guy. It's this team versus that team. That's what makes the NFL great. It sure is, mate. But let's have a look at what Casey Hayward said, man, because this is bullshit. Last year I was 64, this year I'm 59 on the top 100, and even though I see I'm trending in the right direction, y'all got to be crazy to think there are 58 better players better than me in the NFL. Seriously. Let me see who that is. Let me put a face to a name. He's definitely been on this list a lot. <laughs> there he is. Old Casey Hayward, eh? Old Case. Old Case Meister. Well, you know what, bro? This guy is 13 and I'm 14. Or this guy's in the <laughs> I don't know. But if you look at our sport, that's what it is. You know, it's this guy versus that guy. It's this team versus that. I'd just be appreciative as fuck to be on the list at all. That I think team. that's what my attitude would be. That's what makes the NFL great. Be humble, bro. Be humble. Anyways, guys. That was another one. And uh, that was our entry into the top 10. Who is next? Julio Jones, wide receiver for the Falcons. It looks like they've got longer videos for these top 10, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I want. But what I do want is to get, oh, get that thing off my fucking head. Whew. Now, why does, that, why does that helmet feel tighter now than it did in the game? Probably because I wasn't actually thinking about it in the game. You're just really into it. And actually, you want the helmet. The tighter the helmet is, for me, going into a game, the better, obviously. Last thing you want is for it to come flying off. And uh, what I will say is that I have actually felt helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact now. And it's not that bad. It's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Because there is actually a decent amount of padding in here. So look, guys, wish me luck for the coming days. Wish me luck for the coming weeks. And uh, join me for Julio Jones in the next video. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you here shortly. Peace out.